As part of organizing the files, it's good to have the keywords added to your clips. We have seen how we can add keywords automatically while importing the files. And if you just expand this, there are multiple keywords based upon the folder name, which was created automatically. Now, we are going to see in this video how we can add manual keywords to these clips because sometimes it's good to add manual keywords. You may can add not to it. So those two things are going to see in this video. So these are the automatic keywords which we know. Sometimes it's difficult for us to understand these automatic keywords. Say for example, I'm choosing this clip and if I wanted to add manually a keyword to it, I wanted to mention that this is a good take. You can click on command K, then the keyword window will open up. So here you can give any keyword that you want. So there is already one keyword assigned to it. That's what is shown here and the cursor is blinking. So I'm going to say good take and then I'm going to hit on enter. So good take, there is a separate keyword has come for this and I'm going to close this. So if you see, there is a blue line which is running through this, which means this clip is added with the keyword. But now I wanted to see the keyword that I have created. If you come down, this is the keyword that we have created manually. If I click on it, you can see only one video. So it's part of the organizing the files because sometimes you may want it to give different keywords for your project. Maybe something like good take, retake, retake one, or anything, any keywords that you can automatically assign. And I'm going to open the command K, the keyword window again. So you might have noticed that there is a keyword shortcut now added with control two. I'm going to close this. I'm going to select the, I'm going to select the collection. I'm going to take another video and I am going to press on control two so what happened is this clip is also linked with good take so if you go and see there should be two videos now okay so basically what i mean to say is if you open the command k keyword window you can add multiple keyword shortcut here okay you can add your keyword and that will automatically come up with keyword shortcuts and just with the click of control plus with the number that you see over here, you can add keywords to any video, okay? So this is an easy method. So sometimes you may want to manually create the keywords, you can do that. Now there is another method to add keywords. If you have an existing keyword like this, this is a good take keyword collection, you can add multiple files to this uh, collection by just a drag and drop. Say for example, I'm just going to click on this clip and if I wanted to add the same keyword, good take, what I need to do is I just need to drag it and then just I can drop it here. So now if you come down here, there might be three files, right? One, two, three, right. All the files which we have selected with the keyword good take have come up here. Now at any point of time, if you wanted to see the keyword attached to any file, there is one shortcut key, which is control Y so you can see a pop-up menu come up over here. This will show you what are the keywords assigned to a particular clip. If you look at it carefully, you can see two keyword collections have been added to it and the file name is also visible here. So this is enabled by pressing Ctrl Y. If I press Ctrl Y again, this skimmer information will go off. Now you may have one question related to the keyword how can I remove a keyword which I have assigned? We can try that out. I'm just going down to the keyword that I have created. These are the three clips that we have assigned with good take. So what if I need to remove the keyword assigned to it? We can go to the menu mark here and then here you have option to do it. Remove all keywords. So now I'm going to select this. So if you come back, there are only two clips in this folder now. Now sometimes you may have a need of writing down some of the notes to a clip. Sometimes you may get information from your clients stating that this clip is related to this. 
So if you wanted to take a knot on a clip, you can do that in FCP. What you need to do is you need to come back to the list view from your fill in strip view. Okay, now we are in list view. And then if you come here, you have a knot section here. All right, it's here. So here you can write down any knots related to this clip. Say for example, if I wanted to write a knot on a particular clip, I'm going to select this clip and I wanted to write a knot on this. So I come here and then click on this knot. I'm going to select brick loading. Be it on any clip, you can easily add knot to this clip. So sometimes it may be a requirement for you. If you wanted to do that, you can do it this way. And there is one more place where you can add nodes, which is on the timeline index, which we have not come yet, but I'm just going to quickly show you that the timeline index can be taken by command shift two. So you might have noticed that the new box had appeared and this is timeline index. So this timeline index also has got an option called node. When you edit your movie, all your files will be listed here. And if you wanted to add a note to any file during your editing work, you can add that with the help of this note section here. If at any point of time, if note is not enabled, this is the place where you can enable it. So these are some of the quick information, my dear friends, because while organizing, you may come up with different questions. You may come up with different options. All options and all your understanding can be easily make it through the knots. And sometimes, as I said, the requirement might be to add a keyword. I hope you are thorough with keywords and knots.